This video is made available by the Berea College Technology and Applied Design Program under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license. In this video, we're going to see how to turn things on and then off. I know it sounds like a big jump from where we were before, but I think you can take it. So before we manage to turn two LEDs on, but we really want to be able to turn them off too. So that that's going to take that's going to take one new piece of learning. All right, so uh, we have our setup. And inside of our setup, we want to set both LEDs as outputs, so we'll need pin mode twice, so that's a function. We've seen that several times now. And our LEDs are attached to pins 2 and 4, so we'll want to make pin 2 an output and pin 4 an output. And at that point, let's see, we then need to turn the LEDs on. <clears throat> And we've done that before as well. We use digital write. That is how we write a digital value to a pin. And in this case, we're going to say that we want to turn on pin 2. So we set it to high. We then want pin 4 to be high. So digital write will turn on pins 2 and 4. At this point, we can check our program and it works, so I didn't forget any semicolons or commas. I didn't misspell anything. Now, to turn an LED off, we saw in a previous video that we need to set, uh, we need to say digital right, and we need the second value to be low. So, we'll say digital right. I'm going to line things up neatly. It helps me read my code. So, we'll make pin 2 go low and pin 4 go low. So, we turned on both LEDs. Then we turn off both LEDs. So at this point, we can upload our program and watch it run. Only there's going to be a problem here. Um, you should look at it. You should definitely look at it. But the problem is it's going to look like the LED is on. And the problem is that our Arduino runs at 16 megahertz. That means that it does 16 million instructions per second. In 1984, computers weren't this fast. Um, so every second, the Arduino does 16 million instructions. Now I can tell you, turning on an LED does not take millions of instructions, and turning one off does not take millions of instructions. So what we're talking about here is that um, it can do this many, many, many hundreds of thousands of times, if not millions of times, on and off and on and off per second. And your eyes just aren't that good. So this is very fast. Very, very fast. So we need, to, we need to get our Arduino to chill out. We need it so that when it turns on the LED, that it relaxes. And when we turn off the LED, that it goes out and takes a break. Maybe goes for a walk. Uh, Arduinos like long walks on the beach. Um, so we really need something here where we can get it to relax and take some time. So we're going to introduce a new function called delay. Delay is the name of the function. It has parentheses. Now what goes inside? All right. Too few arguments. Long unsigned int. Ugh. Well, here's how you read that. There's no comma anywhere in there. All right, that's important. The comma is what tells us how many things there are. If there's no comma, if there's just a whole bunch of, you know, incomprehensible computer science words in there, what that means is that it is just one thing. And what that's telling us is the kind of information that goes inside the parentheses. So it looks like there are three things but is actual, it's actually one, um, because there's no commas separating things. If it was long comma, unsigned comma. So we need one number, and we're going to say a thousand, because delay works in milliseconds. So 1,000 milliseconds is one second. If you want to delay for two seconds, you delay for 2,000 milliseconds. And that, by the way, is a zero. That was not one 010, that was 1000. 
So we delay for one second, and after we turn it off, we delay for one second. And at this point, you should be able to compile and then upload to your Arduino. And you should get both LEDs blinking on and off. And as I've said before, LEDs are not fundamentally different from motors. So if you can turn on an LED or turn off an LED, you can turn on and off a lot of other things. And that's it for this video.